Fusion. Energy. Environment. Eater. Future. Fusion. Energy. Environment. Eater. Future. Fusion. Energy. Environment. Eater. The major challenge of this century is to provide the world with sufficient food, water and energy in an equitable and sustainable way in the face of rising world population, the threat of climate change and a decline in the availability of fossil fuels, oil, coal, gas in the second half of the century. Without sufficient energy, it will not be possible to provide adequate water and food. Provision of sufficient energy in a sustainable way is therefore the key challenge. The role of ITER is of course to demonstrate the scientific and technical feasibility of fusion power. ITER is the Latin word meaning the way. It is a unique international collaboration that brings together China, the European Union, India, Japan, Korea, Russia and the United States. Together, the ITER members represent more than half the world population. ITER will demonstrate that fusion energy is scientifically and technologically feasible. Fusion, when available, will provide mankind with a clean, safe and unlimited source of energy. There are billions and billions of stars in the universe, and our Sun is one of them. Each one is a fusion device providing light and energy. 70 years ago, scientists understood the physics of the sun and the stars. They patiently and tirelessly transform hydrogen nuclei into helium atoms, releasing huge amounts of energy. With this realization came the ambition to reproduce here on Earth what was happening everywhere in the universe. For the last 50 years, in almost every developed country, Fusion experiments have been getting closer and closer to creating fusion. A type of machine called the tokamak has proven to be the most promising technique. In a tokamak, a gaseous mixture of hydrogen nuclei is brought to very high temperatures while being confined by magnetic fields. In ITER, the temperature of this deuterium and tritium mixture will reach 150 million degrees Celsius, 10 times hotter than in the core of the Sun. ITER sums up the experience of all previous fusion machines and will take fusion to the point where industrial applications become possible. The ITER organization was established in November 2007 as a global answer to the global energy challenge. Parts of the ITER machine are manufactured in the different member states and then shipped to the south of France, where they are loaded on trucks and transported to the ITER site. The platform on which ITER facilities will be built is ready. It measures one kilometer long by 400 meters wide and totals about 42 hectares. It is one of the largest level surfaces in the world. Fossil fuels shaped the civilization of the 20th century, but burning coal, oil and gas has proved highly damaging for our environment. Together with solar, wave, wind, biofuels, geothermic, fusion will be an important part of the energy cocktail of the future. Harnessing the power generated by fusion opens the way to a safe, environmentally responsible and almost limitless source of energy.
it's almost impossible, but we cannot fail. So you've got to be optimistic and you've got to be, keep working on it. And in all this, what you guys are doing is vitally important. Thank you very much.